Welcome back to this channel. Today the topic of our microbiology class is normal flora. Normal flora is the term used to describe the various bacteria and fungi that are permanent residents of certain body sites, especially the skin, oropharynx, colon and vagina. There are certain terms relating to this topic that include commensals that are the organisms that derive benefit from another host but do not damage that host. Human microbiome is the term used to describe the thousands of microbes or microbiota located on the skin, mucosal surfaces and within the lumen of gastrointestinal tract. Next important term is carrier state that implies that an individual harbors a potential pathogen and therefore can be a source of infection of others. It is most frequently used in reference to a person with an asymptomatic infection or to someone who has recovered from a disease but continues to carry the organism and may shed it for a longer period. Colonization. The term colonization typically refers to the acquisition of a new organism. After the new organism colonizes, that is attached and grows usually on a mucosal membrane, it may cause the infectious disease or it may be eliminated by our host defenses. So what is the importance of this normal flora? First, they can cause disease, especially in immunocompromised and debilitated individuals. Although these organisms are non-pathogens in their usual anatomic location, but they can be pathogenic in other parts of the body. Secondly, they constitute a protective host defense mechanism. The ability of members of normal flora to limit the growth of pathogens is called colonization resistance. If the normal flora is suppressed, pathogens may grow and cause the disease. For example, antibiotics can reduce the normal fl colonic flora that allows Clostridium difficile, which is resistant to antibiotics to overgrow and may cause pseudomembranous colitis. Normal flora may also serve a nutritional function. The intestinal bacteria produces several B vitamins and vitamin K, poorly nourished people who are treated with oral antibiotics can have vitamin deficiencies as a result of reduction of the normal flora. This table shows the important normal flora and their location. For example, the skin has the most important organism as Staph Lococcus epidermidis, while other less important organisms include Staph aureus, Corynebacterium, various Streptococci, Pseudomonas, and yeast. On nose, the most important normal flora is Staphylococcus aureus, while others include Staph epidermidis, Corynebacterium, and Streptococci. Mouth harbors Virden Streptococci as most important normal flora. On dental plaques, Streptococcus mutans is found on gingival services, various anaerobes, for example, bacteroids and fusobacterium may be present. Throat has most important normal flora that is viridin streptococci. On colon, bacteroid, fragilis and E. coli are the most important normal flora. Vagina harbors lactobacillus. E. coli and group B streptococcus as the most important organisms in the normal flora, while urethra has Staph aureus, Corynebacterium and various streptococci as the important normal flora. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel for watching more informative microbiology lectures like this.